Hello everyone. Welcome to watching the lesson five, um, connecting backend SAP servers via JCO. I suppose you already know something about uh, the backend SAP systems or the JCO connector. So here, uh, SUP has already bundled JCO connector since 2.1 version. So here we have a quick wizard for creating an SAP connection. So here we can input the application server, the system ID, system number, user password, quick text. Oh, sorry, there's something wrong. So let me check. Um, So I used the, the wrong server address. So here, okay, fine. It's pretty easy. So here we have created um, SAP connection. So here we will create a uh, MBO manually. Here we will find and uh, we will name it flights. So we will choose from the data source. SAP DR3 system and so here we will click the browse button it will um, uh, give me a uh, send me a list of all the RFC operations that is available in this system so if you are ABAP developer, you will be pretty familiar with all the RFCs. Uh, you can choose the RFC that you want. So here we will do a quick search and uh, we will see there's an RFC of getting the flights. So it will retrieve the parameters of the get list operation. So here we we'll choose we can choose the in and out parameters. So here we will choose the two of the arguments, one is destination two and second one is destination from. So we'll do a quick preview with no uh, value. It will query out all the um, records. So we do a next. And this mapping is automatically being done for us. Um, <coughs> in the left is the MBO attributes, and on the right is the um, RFC uh, input and output. So we can do a quick next. Then we click finish. So here we have a, a very uh, big diagram. Here we can arrange it. So we have two uh, attributes. Uh, two structures and one MBO. We'll try to create another MBO, the flight customer. 
we also choose the SAP DR3 system. We'll do a browse. The second browse is much quicker. And we will check for the let me see fried customers create from data so this is a create method the previous one is mostly a search or a query so here we have to define at least one output parameter. So here we will choose the customer data as the input. You can choose some common inputs. Customer city, customer country, type. On postcode street. Region street. Select the customer number and the return message as the output. So here we will choose to preview click the preview button and uh, see what we get no custom name is specified so it's a mandatory parameter so let's see we can do some quick input of the parameters And after preview, I got uh, new customers created in the system. So let's click next. So here we have to. input some default values here I'm not sure whether it's um, mandatory for a um, create method but anyway I have to do it here so see the mapping let's review it click next and click finish so let's arrange it to be more visible so there's an MBO called flight customer and it has a return value you can save it so here we can see um, from the property of this MBO if I click the edit of the definition I can also see a button called the commit SAP operation which will automatically commit the create method for us. Thanks for watching.